How's it going? What's up, Cameron? Going well. How about yourself? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. I'm curious. You have Gary Gate on the sidelines. We were just talking to Brett about how cool it is to have almost an idol there, yeah. but, but someone with the pedigree and track rec record of him, especially you, uh, you as an attackman. You know what? It's what is it like having him on the sidelines? What impact has it made so far having uh, having Gary Gate in that role? I mean. Yeah, like you said it best, he's like an idol for a lot of people, you know, he changed the game in so many ways, he's one of the greatest lacrosse minds and definitely one of the greatest players ever. Um, so yeah, it's been really cool to have him on our sidelines and in our corner, you know, he's very creative, with the sort of ideas he comes up with on our offense and things of that nature. Uh, it's just been really, really cool to have someone like that and he's a very relaxed and laid back kind of mentality. So that makes it easy for us to, you know, go up and talk to him and make it, makes it easy to learn and develop that relationship. What have you taken from his knowledge of the game? Have you tried to pick his brain a little bit? What is it about him as a coach that he's kind of instilling on you guys? Basically just to, you know, play creative, but to play smart. You know, there's right shots to look for. And uh, I think since he's gotten here, we've gotten a lot better at, uh, you know, taking, you know, better shots and just kind of finding open spaces more within the defense that we didn't see before. Awesome, thank you. Yeah. Roshan? Um, oh, and I'm just curious about Tucker Dordovic's shift to attack. You know, what kind of, how has Gary Gate been using him? What have you seen from him in that new spot? And what has that adjustment kind of been like? Yeah, well, Tucker, the transition's been pretty easy for him and smooth. He's a great player already, as we all know from up top. Uh, his sort of shiftiness and the way that he can change direction is pretty unparalleled. And that just kind of translates right to what he's been doing on the tack. You know, he's a big time dodger. Uh, it's pretty hard to stay with him one-on-one, -on -one, no matter if it's a short stick or a pole against him. Uh, you know, just kind of, you know, he has been attacking the cage from X a lot. Uh, he's gotten a lot better at shooting coming around the cage. So I think that you can expect to see, you know, a lot of the same stuff with him, shifting defenders, but now just from behind the cage as opposed to up top. Um, I'm just curious, like, What's behind the kind of decision to move him to attack versus invert him as a midfielder? I think that that's more like something that the coaches would probably be able to tell you more. I don't really, you know, know what, why exactly, but I know that I love playing with him and it's been a great transition for him, so. Fair enough, thank you. Yeah. Dean? Hey Owen, where did you guys feel that you improved between the first scrimmage and, and the second? And how prepared do you feel going into this Saturday against Holy Cross? Yeah, I think the biggest difference between our first and our second scrimmage was just our team energy. You know, I think that we came out pretty flat in our first scrimmage against Michigan. And, uh, you know, maybe we took them lighter than we definitely should have. Uh, every opponent deserves our respect. And, you know, preparing last week for the scrimmage, every practice we treated it like it was a game. You know, uh, Coach Petromala said that we won the scrimmage on Monday, not on Saturday when we actually played. And that's just kind of a message to say, like, keep the energy up all week. And... Uh, you know, be prepared to play on game day. And, you know, going into this weekend, I'd say that we're pretty confident, you know, we're feeling good about ourselves. We're really just focusing on ourselves a lot, trying to be the best team that we can be and make sure that we come out like we did against Loyola, not Michigan. Nate and then Nick. Yeah, on, just to, to back up for a second, would you say Tuck is more or less kind of Phyllis, uh, filling in for for Rafis was doing at the X last year as that main facilitator at, at the X? Yeah, you know, Tucker's great with the ball on a stick. It's pretty hard to replace a guy like Steve who had such good vision. You know, was, he would always put the ball around on guys' sticks. I'd say that Tucker's definitely more of a goal scorer, but he also has great vision as well. And, you know, they both had that great dodging ability. So I'd say that, you know, our offense is going to look a little bit different, so he won't be doing exactly the same things that Steve was doing. But uh, definitely, like, Sort of the same things as just like yeah. in, in terms of coming from X. Yeah, and obviously last year, March, you know, he inverted Curry at times. You have experience, you know, moving from the midfield down to attack. Are you practicing exclusively at, at attack this spring or are you kind of floating too? Yes, I've been practicing attack this whole season, okay. yeah. With, with, the, with the turnover on the midfield, obviously Curry's still back there, but who's, who's kind of emerged in your eyes uh, along with him? Well, you know, it's been great to get guys like Jacob Buttermore back, who uh, missed a good chunk of the end of last year with his torn ACL. You know, he's back now and looking great. He's moving well. It's great to have him back. Uh, 
Griffin Cook has been doing a great job all preseason and uh, in all the scrimmages. He's looking like a great midi for us. Lucas Quinn, obviously, you know, one of the older fifth-year guys with me. Uh, you know, I mean, I think that we have some good depth up there. Matteo Corsi looks like a great freshman for us. He's a really shifty guy that's going to make a lot of plays from up top as well. Nick and then Cameron. Hey, Owen, going back to last season and preseason rankings, you guys, a lot of high expectations, number two or three in the country this year. You guys, 12, 13 range. Would you say you guys have uh, more or less pressure heading into this season compared to last year? You know, I think that we always try to hold ourselves to the same high standard. We don't like to pay attention too much to the rankings, but, you know, it's definitely something that you can't, like, scroll on the Internet without seeing. So I think that we're kind of taking the approach that we're an underdog, definitely in most of our games this season, and I think that we're liking that, you know. Uh, it, not to say that it takes pressure off of us because we hold ourselves to that high standard as much as we can, but I think just knowing that, you know, it kind of gives us that extra chip on our shoulder, especially for us fifth-year guys who came back. You know, we see, like, the disrespect and things like that that's kind of been going around. So, you know, yeah, it kind of keeps that chip on our shoulder and keeps us motivated. And then I see one more hand raise, so we'll wrap it up with uh, Cameron. Cameron, go ahead. Yeah, one more thing that I have about, about Coach Gate. I was talking to one of his former teammates, and he told me that it's something about his edge and his comp, you know, competitive edge to win. And it seems like you're talking about the expectations from last season, you know, that underdog mentality going into this season. Do you see him almost bringing that edge, not just the offense, but the entire team? And how so? Yeah, definitely. You know, he's a great motivator for us. Uh, as we all know, you know, we've all seen the tapes and stuff. He's a great competitor just like how he played and how he coached for the women's team. And, you know, he's brought the same kind of style over to our team. I think Coach Petramala and March do the same as well, you know. Our coaches uh, have really made practices competitive, trying to make every day like a game, trying to prepare for every game for no matter who it is every day, just as hard as we can go and make it as competitive as possible in practice. Thank you. Yeah. All right, thanks, guys. We'll let uh, Owen move on, and I'll go grab Coach Gate. Thanks, guys.